Welcome to the Light Factory and Neo Patch Utility. This utility is available for iOS, Android, Windows and Mac. The first thing is to load a patch from an available show. If we click on the Get Patch, we see listed all of the systems that are on the network and their show file names. Select one of these systems and the patch will load. From here you will see a familiar grid similar to what you would get in the patch window of the main software. All of the fields are editable by simply selecting them and entering the value that you want. In the case of fixture make and model, the system does not unfortunately pull in the entire fixture library, but does allow you to change to any of the fixtures that you currently have patched and their different modes. So if you need to change the mode that a fixture is set to, you can do that from the software. Once a patch is loaded, you can take the system offline, you don't have to be connected to a Neo or Light Factory system and do all your editing at your leisure. Once you've made a change, you can save your changes locally so that if you shut down the uh, device, you can pull that information back the next time it starts. In the second column is a button that allows you to turn channels on and off. This does require you to be on the network, but is a convenient way to test fixtures or test uh, dimmers that if they're working. From this menu, the settings allow you to show to skip over unpatched channels and also change the command that is sent when you turn a fixture on or off. Note that the ability to turn fixtures on and off requires that you have the Light Factory or Neo option to allow incoming UDP data turned on. Once you've finished making all the changes, you can push the changes back to your Light Factory or Neo system by selecting the option in the menu. Oops, I think I clicked save change locally. Uh, sorry, select the update system patch. Once that's done, you'll receive a message to say that it's completed. Note that in the System Properties under the Network Access tab, there is a new option to allow remote patch changes. So if you are allowing someone to use the app, but you don't want them to be able to push those changes back to your system, so if it's someone just testing dimmers on stage, uh, then you can turn this option off and then they're unable to push the changes to the software. That's it for this app. I hope you find it useful.